welcome back to Rambling Roxy's Adventures Through History. We've been talking about mounds, but we're going to learn more about different Native American culture sites today. Not only are there tons of mounds to visit, but there are plenty of other sites to learn more about Ohio's Native cultures. In my book, Twin Adventures in Ohio History, available on Amazon, and I'll post the link um, at the end of the video for you guys to check out. You can read more about these sites. And I'll tell you a little bit about them now and give you a little preview of what's in the book. One of the places that you can see a lot of stuff about Native American culture is the Ohio History Connection Museum in Columbus. It has oodles of information there. I've spent plenty of time there and I greatly enjoy it. At Fort Ancient, you can also visit the museum and learn how to flint nap and throw an at ladle, which is a kind of arrow, which is really cool that you can not only learn about these cultures, but experience some of the things that they did um, back thousands of years ago as well. Another place featured in my book is Flint Ridge. This location is a giant Flint deposit three miles long by nine miles wide and is about two feet thick to ten feet thick in some places. Many of the native cultures use this site to mine or chip off flint to make arrowheads, scrapers, and axes. Flint, while looking like any other rock on the ground, is very sharp when it's broken. When we were here last fall, we walked around and saw all sorts of holes or pits where a lot of this flint had been mined. I was looking around going, oh my goodness, what is going on? And I was like, oh, there's just these giant areas that have been covered with trees now, but you can definitely see where they had spent a lot of time digging out the flint. I was actually looking around on the ground for the flint, thinking, where is the flint? And it blended in so much that I didn't realize that I was walking over all kinds of little flint chips, giant flint rocks, and it was just so much fun walking the trails there and kind of getting a sense of um, what it was like maybe thousands of years ago. I know my twins loved exploring it. It was a lot of fun. They really love rocks, so they were having a ball, picking them up and checking them out. You can't take any with you. It's a protected site, but it's a great place to go see. There's also an on-site museum that tells you more about the site and uh, some of the history of the area. Another one of my favorite places that we visited is a place called the Leo Petroglyph State Park. Yes, Ohio has petroglyphs. We thought that only existed like in other places that are cool, right? Well, Ohio is cool too, and we have petroglyphs, and those are basically their rock carvings. There are 37 preserved carvings of different animals created by the four ancient people. There's also a really cool hiking trail that you get to go down in a gorge, but make sure that you don't walk right by the site. We walk the whole trail and we're like, where are the petroglyphs? And they're right beside the parking lot. So it's really not hard to gain access to the site if you want to go looking around um, at some petroglyphs. Another really interesting place to go is the Sun Watch Village near Dayton to learn more about the four ancient culture. The Open Air Museum is a circular visit village where you can participate in educational programs. You can even watch some archeological excavations. How cool is that? And another important place, or I should say an event to see is the Tecumseh Outdoor Drama in Chillicothe. It highlights the life of the Shawnee chief Tecumseh, who was born in 1768. As you can read in my book, he was um, organized the Native American Confederacy by convincing other tribes to join together to fight off the settlers who were taking their land. Um, he died in battle in 1813, and it was just uh, really interesting to watch this drama and find out more about his life and about the Shawnee culture uh, living 
in the Chillicothe area at the time. So if you want to check out something cool, I would go down there. And it's also right nearby a bunch of other mounds. So if you want to take a day trip to Chillicothe, I'm sure there's lots of things you can check off your history list there. Thank you for tuning in for Rambling Roxy's Adventures Through History. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss an episode. Thanks.